starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Yes, sir, it's gonna be quite an affair. Pedigree dogs from all over the state. There's gonna be a show and obedience trials and all kinds of special events. And all the money goes to charity. Oh, you'll have a wonderful time. I wish I could go with you. We'll be back day after tomorrow. <laughs> Cully, you keep a good eye out for him now, will you? I ain't never lost a boy or a dog yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Cully, will you carry this? I nearly forgot. A dollar for spending money. Thanks, Mom. Now, I don't want you to forget, but you're to... I know. Comb my hair, brush my teeth, and say my prayers. Right. And please, keep your feet dry. I will, Mom. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll, I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. You have a good time. I will. There's your cap. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, funny we didn't get an answer from the King's Royal Kennels about their national champion. Yeah, if they weren't coming, we at least rated a reply. It'd have been great if we could have presented her, but those big kennels can get pretty stuffy about their champions. Yeah, I know. Dan. Come here. If that isn't King's Royal Lassie, the national champion, then I don't know my dogs. I think you're right, but why wouldn't they let us know? Well, maybe the letter got lost in the mails. We better make sure we're right. thinking on your dog's part, son. Thanks, but Lassie does it all the time. She's always thinking. Then it is Lassie. It sure is. Get your camera, Dan. You bet. I'm uh, Norman Talley, chairman of the show committee. Welcome to Capital City, and thanks for bringing Lassie. And my name is Cully Wilson. This year is Timmy Martin. Hiya, Timmy. You don't have to thank us. We wouldn't miss this show for anything. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. Oh, have you made arrangements for your accommodations? You mean the room? Uh, a matter of fact, we haven't, no. You see, we come straight to the show. Fine. Well, I want you to be our guest while you're here. Be your guest? Mm-hmm. I insist I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh, uh, Dan, this is Mr. Wilson and uh, Timmy Mark. Hello, how are you? Hi. Dan is our publicity head. He's going to take some real good pictures of Lassie. And, oh, when he's through taking them, you meet me at this address, and I'll see that you get settled. You will, uh... I certainly will. Nothing's too good for Lassie. Well, I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Wilson. Now, you and Lassie stand right up there, will you, Timmy? Oh, sure. Come on, Lassie. Uh, 
There, now, hold it. If they come out good, may I have one? Sure you can. Thanks. People are sure being nice to us. Well, that's because of Lassie. Oh? You know, it means a lot to have an animal of her reputation and standing at a show like this one. Yeah, I guess it does. Say, how about taking one with me, Lassie? Thanks, Mr. Wilson, but uh, this will be fine. Yes, sir, I sure am glad to have you here. Bye. Bye. You might have took one picture with me and Lachie. Boy, people are sure friendly around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, they sure are. The Country Club Hotel. Dining room, heated swimming pool, free TV. Sounds kind of classy, yeah. Let's go. Well, here we are. Is everything satisfactory? What's that you said? Well, is it all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Real comfortable. Oh, there. good. Now, order your meals from room service, and they'll be put on the bill. Oh, uh, by the way, which one of you handles Lassie? I do. You do? Oh, oh, that's great. <laughs> well, here's your pass for the show. Now, after you get settled and have your lunch, you come back and we'll talk. We'll do that, Mr. Talley. Fine. Make yourself comfortable. I hate to rush off like this, but really, I have a hundred things to do. So, I'll see you later. You know, this fellow Tally, he's... Timmy, you know what this room costs? Twenty dollars a day! Twenty dollars? Boy, will I tell Mom! I'm hungry. Let's eat. No, just hold it, boy. Hold it. Just leave them homemade sandwiches and stuff be. What are you gonna do? Well, you heard what the man said. Order your meals, he says. Uh, we're gonna eat some high-class restaurant grub, we are. Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, the Capital City Kennel Club is proud to announce that the United States Grand National Champion, King's Royal Lassie, will appear at this show in several events. Tell your friends the national champion will appear here. Did you hear that? The national champion. There ought to be something to see here. Let's get on in. I got my pass and I, I got it somewhere. Yeah. Novice obedience trials now being held in the center ring. Repeat. Novice obedience trials in the center ring. Next entry in the open Eagle. class B, Beagle. Sit. Dennis, heel. Dennis, heel. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's real good. Sit. Stay. Fetch. French fries, fruit salad, buttered asparagus, hot rolls, pie, 
uh, with the ice cream, you know, uh, sitting right on top of it. And, uh, yeah, uh, oh, say, say, you better include a double order, that pineapple delight. We, we kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Shoot you. Sounds like wonderful. <laughs> we didn't miss some. <laughs> We're doing great, Dan. We'll do better. When King's Royal Lassie goes into that ring tomorrow night, there won't be an empty seat in the house. The response is that good? Sensational. The reservations and advance sales are jumping. Well, I hope the dog lives up to its advance billing. Yeah, me too. It'll mean a lot to us when we do this again next year. <laughs> Mr. Cully, I thought that Doberman was the best. He was really great. In the ring, yeah, but did you notice how he flinched when the judge went over him? No, I didn't. Well, he did, and you got to count it against him. Boy, I'm really having a lot of fun. Mr. Tally sure is generous to us. I wonder why. Jimmy, one thing I learned early in life, never look a gift horse in the mouth. Gee, speaking of mouths, how about a little nighttime snack to sort of round out the day, eh? Suits me. Hello? Room service. Hi, Mr. Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Mr. Kelly. Hello, Tim. Say, Nora. Yeah. Have you got those attendance records I gave you? Yes, I have them right here someplace. Let's see. Oh, here they are. Wow, that's cool. Hey, wait! Hey, stop that car! Those are my papers. Go get those papers, Lassie! was close. You know what these are? They're the registration fees for all the show dogs. If these had burned, I'd really been in hot water. Looks like everything's all right, huh? Lassie, no wonder you're a champion. I'm very grateful. You saved me a lot of serious embarrassment. She was glad to do it, Mr. Tally. Sure. For her? Huh? Wasn't nothing. <laughs> well, thanks again. I'd better put these in the bank before something else happens to them. I'll see you this afternoon. I want to talk to you, too. I'll meet you in your seats in, say, a uh, half hour. We'll be there. Good. Well, let's go, Timmy. I'd hate to hold up the show. Hi, girl. Lassie all set for the big day? Every day's a big day for her, Mr. Walsh. Oh, I thought you might like to see these. There's a good picture in there. Gee, thanks. I know that Lassie will give a good performance, and I'm looking forward to it, but I've got to run now. Here are your programs. And good luck. Thanks again. Bye. Performance? Oh, my gosh. Special event of the afternoon session. King's Royal Lassie, national champion, handler, Timmy Martin. They think our Lassie is the national champion, Lassie. That's why they gave us that room and the free meals. What are we gonna do? Oh, boy, are we in trouble. Real trouble. Let's get out of here. Timmy. We gotta get this mess straightened out. You go find Mr. Tally and tell him he made a mistake. Where are you going? Well, I gotta go and try and raise some money. That hotel bill uh, must be a loo. Meet you back at the room. Okay. Come on, Lassie. <laughs>
Australia about you before they announced the champion. See if you can find him. What's wrong with him? Well, he's a highly nervous animal. And a Great Dane jumped him this morning. Nobody can do anything with him now. Well, that's too bad. Be sure and get him out of here as soon as possible. Well, his owner's coming to take him away as soon as he finishes with his other entry. Good. Things are going far too well to have a nervous dog give us trouble at this time. Yeah. Two ice creams, please. Go by just now? No, I didn't. I can't understand it. I only turned my back on her for a moment. Mr. Tally. You and your fine dog were wonderful. I don't know how I can thank you. Do you know who that dog is? Uh, Mr. Tally. Lassie isn't who you think she is. I have to talk to you about that. Oh? You see, there's been a mistake. A big mistake. Uh, Dan, uh, why don't you get Christine her ice cream? I think Timmy and I are going to have a little talk. Yeah, how about that, Christine? Would you like some ice cream? Come on, come on with me. Thank you again. Well, Timmy, what is it? Can we have one ice cream, please? <laughs> uh, two. Well, thank you. So, you see, I didn't know that you thought my lassie was the national champion lassie until just a little while ago. I see. We weren't trying to fool anybody, honest. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, as far as I'm concerned, your lassie is a champion in my book. She's been giving great performances ever since she arrived here. Thanks. And I guess we better move out of that hotel, and fast. Well, you can stay as long as you like. And it's still on us. Boy, that'd be a load off of Mr. Cully's mind. <laughs> Mom! Mom, we're home! Oh, oh, dear, my goodness. I'm oh, sorry. Miss you never you. get back, Cully. Well, how are you? Good. Uh, we should have been here sooner, but we were shot up by some last-minute details. Oh, really? Yeah. Mom, what did I tell you? We stayed in a real expensive hotel. I brought you a postcard in. Oh, my. And we got a pass to the show, 
And we eat all of our meals in the hotel. And we got them all free. And Lassie and I got our picture in the paper. See? I bet I had the best time of my whole life. Good gracious. And the fellow who run the show I insisted we be his guest. Wouldn't let us spend a penny. And you know that dollar he gave me? Hmm? I didn't even spend it. See, I still have it. The postcard was free. You must have had a wonderful time, but how did it happen? Well, I guess we owe it all to Lassie. Woo! Lassie, why? Simple. The people just knew a great dog when they saw one. Woo!